Welcome to Tales of Wonder. In a small town, nestled among towering trees and a veil of mist, stood an old Victorian house. Within its dimly lit rooms, a peculiar mirror resided. It was said to possess an enigmatic power, capable of revealing the hidden depths of one's soul. The mirror's allure drew the attention of the townsfolk, who whispered tales of its mysterious origins. Sarah, a curious and adventurous young woman, found herself irresistibly drawn to the mirror's mystique. She purchased it from an eccentric antique dealer and brought it home, unaware of the darkness lurking within. She hung the mirror in her bedroom. She noticed an unsettling change in her reflection. It seemed to ripple with an eerie energy, distorting her features and reflecting a sinister presence. Night after night, Sarah's reflection became increasingly malevolent. It moved of its own accord, mocking her with twisted grins and malicious gestures. The mirror's power seeped into her life, causing strange occurrences and unexplained phenomena. She became consumed by paranoia, her nights filled with terrifying nightmares and visions. Objects moved on their own, whispers echoed through the house, and shadows danced in the corners of her vision. Sarah's sanity began to unravel as the mirror's influence tightened its grip. The line between reality and illusion blurred, leaving her uncertain of what was real and what was a product of the mirror's manipulative magic. Desperate for answers, she turned to the occult and ancient texts, hoping to find a way to break free. Through her research, Sarah discovered a dark and twisted history behind the mirror. It was forged by a sorcerer with nefarious intentions, using forbidden rituals and sacrificial magic. The mirror had become a vessel for malevolent spirits, feeding on the souls of those who dared to gaze into its depths. Sarah realized that she had unwittingly invited this sinister force into her life. Desperate to break free, Sarah seeks help from a renowned paranormal investigator, Dr. Victor. Together, they delve into the mirror's dark history and uncover a malevolent entity that feeds on the souls of those trapped within its grasp. Victor sits amidst piles of ancient books and scrolls searching for clues about the mirror's origins. Finally, their eyes widen as they discover an old, dusty diary. They open the diary, its brittle pages crackling with age. As they read the diary, the horrifying truth is revealed. Isabella's reflection took control of her life, slowly driving her to madness. Isabella, a young woman, stands before a mirror similar to Sarah's, her reflection smirks wickedly, taunting her as she trembles in fear. Isabella tearfully shouts, Please, release me from this torment. The mirror's malevolent reflection reaches out, its hand extending from the glass, threatening to consume Isabella's soul. Sarah and Dr. Victor decided to destroy the mirror. With it, trembling hands, Sarah gathered the necessary ingredients. A vial of moly dew, a sprig of wolfbane, and a fragment of a sacred incantation etched onto a silver amulet. She had to be cautious, for one wrong move could exacerbate the mirror's power, endangering not only herself, but those around her. Sarah prepared herself mentally and emotionally for the dangerous endeavor ahead. She donned a protective cloak adorned with ancient symbols and held the silver amulet close to her heart. In the center of the room, Sarah arranged the ingredients in a precise formation the moon's gentle rays filtered through the window, imbuing the room with an ethereal luminescence. Drawing a deep breath, Sarah closed her eyes and chanted the sacred incantation, her voice barely above a whisper. The words resonating ancient power reverberated through the room. The mirror's malevolence intensified, sensing its own imminent demise. It fought back with a tempestuous fury unleashing a barrage of distorted reflections and phantasma apparitions. Undeterred, Sarah persisted, her focus unwavering as she channeled her new foreknowledge and inner strengths. She visualized a shield of radiant light, a barrier of pure intention that would repel the mirror's dark power. With every recitation of the incantation, the shield grew stronger, pushing back against the mirror's influence. Suddenly, a crescendo of energy erupted, swirling around Sarah in a tumultuous vortex. The room quaked and the mirror's surface crackled with fissures, threatening to shatter. Sarah knew 
that this was her moment. Sarah raised the silver amulet high above her head. With a forceful motion, she brought the amulet crashing down onto the mirror's surface, a resounding clash of metal against glass. As the shards of the mirror splintered and fell, a deafening silence engulfed the room. Sarah's heart raced, her gaze fixed on the remnants of the cursed mirror that lay scattered on the floor. A sense of relief washed over her as she realized that the mirror's malevolence had been banished. With the ritual complete, Sarah's body sagged with exhaustion, but her spirit soared with triumph. She had emerged victorious, armed with new foreknowledge and inner strength. The curse that had held her captive was shattered, and she was finally free from the mirror's insidious grasp. Sarah emerges, battered and scarred but triumphant. Yet, the horrors she endured will forever linger in her mind, a reminder of the thin line between reality and nightmare. Sarah stands before a new mirror, a reflection of her own strength and resilience. She smiles finally at peace. Sarah's journey may be over, but the malevolent force within the mirror still exists, waiting for its next victim. She shares her harrowing tale, hoping to protect others from falling prey to the mirror's dark enchantment. Wow, that was intense. A cautionary reminder to be mindful of the everyday objects around us. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing your story with us. Thank you for joining us on this chilling journey through the glass mirror. Until next time, dare to face your fears and never forget. The mirror may hold secrets, you're better off not knowing.